So the first thing that you need to do is click on JetBrain and then open up EAP IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate. Uh, that this this actually is on it's always for like two or one month. So I'm using Ultimate 2023 version two. So we're gonna activate our license. So I'm gonna click on this uh, start trial. Okay. So click on it and then click on login to JetBrain account. So once you uh, log into JetBrain account, it's gonna ask you to provide the username and a password, but you don't have any username or password. Okay, you can create an account and put your email over there. But let's say you don't have an email account. So just go straight to uh, Gmail, click on Google. So go straight to uh, add another account. Okay, then uh, create a new account. So insert your first name, John, and then you also uh, insert the last name, maybe probably uh, John Doe, okay? And the last name is always optional. So click on next, and then uh, basic information, uh, your month, uh, your date of birth, and then the year that you were born. Then after that, gender, male or female, some male, then choose your Gmail address. So I'm gonna go with the first one because it's much, it, it looks easy. So click on that, then click on next. Then uh, add a password. Now uh, create any password that you feel like for your Gmail account, okay? Uh, I mean for your Google account. Create uh, any password that you feel like. So, uh, okay, great. Then click on next. Then after that, you need to add a recovery email address. So add any recovery email address that you uh, would love to, to add, then click on skip. Actually, the email address is supposed to be uh, active, the one that you're recovering with. So add the phone number, then click on next, and then click on next. So this is the information actually that you have right now for your Google account. So once you have this information, um, now, Go back again to JetBrain. Now uh, sign in with Google because you've created an account, uh, Google account. So I'm gonna sign with John Doe. Then I'm gonna also, once I sign in, I need to create a password for my IDE. So password, supposed to be a very strong password actually. So if you see the green color, that means your password is good. So re-enter the password. And then I have read and accepted the JetBrain account agreement then click on the two buttons, then click on submit. So you will get this message saying that you have authorized, authorization was successful. So that means you're able to, to use the uh, JetBrain, okay? So click on next, and then now you can insert any application that you want and continue working.